federal judge has stepped in and is temporarily blocking the online release of the directions to make 3D printed guns. Minnesota Attorney General Lori Swanson, along with 20 states, agrees with the judge and debate over this issue is only growing. This homemade plastic gun was created with a 3D printer. Its design files were scheduled to be released online today. But that federal judge's restraining order stops the release for now. These are more than just a cookbook for guns. These are plug and play downloadable designs. A 3D printer builds designs from computer software, layer by layer, generally using ABS plastic, the same kind used in Legos. But those in the 3D printing industry say the process can be complex. There is definitely a learning curve. You know, you're not going to be able to step up to a 3D printer like you would a microwave, you know, pop in your thumb drive and then hit go. 3D printers can also be expensive, between one and two thousand dollars for a machine capable of printing gun parts. Price of 3D printing will not be a deterrent to organized crime, drug cartels, terrorists. Cody Wilson, the man behind the Texas-based company Defense Distributed, reached a settlement with the federal government in June, allowing the public release of the files online. But gun control groups and legislators are fighting back. I don't think you should have the ability or anyone else should have the ability to control your access to it on the Internet or your ability to print it on a machine. Wilson says that preventing the release is a violation of his First and Second Amendment rights. Why should the federal government tell you what you can and cannot make? Congressional Democrats are urging President Trump to reverse the decision to release that information. The president on Twitter says he's speaking with the NRA about this issue.